Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm yours, Danny Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Yosdani. Today in history, on April 27th, 1828, the Zoological Gardens at Regent's Park in London opened. Known as the world's oldest zoo by the name of ZSL, London Zoo, or sometimes called Regent's Zoo. It originally opened for the scientific studies, but today it shelters more than 673 different kinds of animals, with 19,289 individuals. The 36-acre zoo has been successfully breeding Peer David's deer, pygmy hippos, musk ox, Chilean flamingos, polar bears, and giant panda Chi Chi from China. This zoo is managed by the Zoological Society in London, who sure care for these beautiful animals. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Andy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. One of the fastest growing sports, especially with adults, is pickleball. This sport combines elements of badminton, table tennis, and tennis. Players use solid paddles to hit a perforated ball, like a wiffle ball, over a net. The sport has spread within community centers, PE classes, gyms, YMCA facilities, and retirement communities. There are multiple tournaments played each year within the United States, such as the U.S. National and U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, as well as numerous international championships. The ball is served with an underarm stroke, so that contact with the ball is made below waist level in an upward arc. The server hits from behind the baseline on one side of the center line and aims diagonally to the opponent's service court, hoping that it hits the ground and they score a point. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is charboiled hamburger, bun, broccoli, orange juice, mustard, ketchup, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Yo's Donny. Thank you, Noah. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Get your yearbook today for just $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Scholars, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today you can create a comic strip on testing strategies. Everyone, it's the perfect time for you to show your artistic side. And finally, Patriots, help us help those in need by donating canned food and non-perishable food items. The Girl Scout of Southeast Florida Food Drive is going on for three days only. So we really need you to step up and donate. Starting tomorrow through Friday, bring in the food items to your homeroom teacher. The classroom with the highest donations will win a popcorn party and a movie. Together we can make a difference. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 83 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like a cloudy day, so let's hope the weather gets better, not worse. Now let's go some of the joke of the day. Thank you, D. And here's today. Joke of the day! What superhero is the most curious? Wonder Woman! Now let's go to Sonya for today's birthday! Thanks Samuel, that was another great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Alicia Paul and Ivan De La Cruz. Happy birthday, let's go back to yours Donnie. Thank you Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school as environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Gilbert, Ms. Julian, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Calabrese, Mr. Bonilla, Ms. M. Denqua, and Ms. Barrow. 
You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what is the one thing everyone can agree is between heaven and earth? The correct answer to the riddle was the word and. Now for today's riddle. Paul's height is six feet. He's an assistant at a butcher shop and wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Again, Paul's height is six feet. He is an assistant at a butcher shop and wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day. Thank you.